Inflammation is a pretty common term that everybody seems to be talking about these days. But did you know how much impact inflammation has on your body? And what happens to your body if you start taking these anti-inflammatory teas every day? Watch this video till the end and you won't regret it. Inflammation is not primarily harmful to our bodies as it's the body's natural response to harmful entities like viruses and bacteria. So apparently, inflammatory response is necessary for our body's health. But inflammation is not always good for our body and that's what we need to learn in our today's video. Inflammation has two types, acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation happens when we are attacked by viruses or bacteria like in flu and acute bronchitis. But chronic inflammation occurs when our body starts killing our own body cells like beta cells that produce insulin are damaged by our own immune system which then leads to diabetes mellitus. Chronic inflammation also leads to diseases like arthritis, obesity, stroke, peptic ulcers, active hepatitis, and even cancer. Chronic inflammation accounts for more than 50% of total deaths worldwide. There are a number of different known and unknown causes to inflammation like obesity, stress, lack of sleep and self-medication. Chronic inflammation is also stimulated by unhealthy components found in food like trans fats, sugars, and synthetic sweeteners that produce free radicals in our body. Free radicals cause oxidation of cells and release harmful components that result in inflammation. However, it can be a bit harder to change your whole diet plan. So in our today's video, we are going to discuss 8 anti-inflammatory teas and how to make them in a way that you'd love to drink these teas. Otherwise, like most people, we don't want you to get filled in making these teas your lifestyle. Drinking these teas after a fat-rich diet can reduce fat and sugar absorption and improve digestion. If you're above 40 or obese, you'll love the results of drinking these teas every day. So let's begin with our first tea. Number 1. Ginger Tea Ginger contains many potent anti-inflammatory agents that help in many conditions caused by chronic inflammation. Ginger contains compounds that help to lower bad cholesterol in our body. It has also been proven to minimize inflammatory markers including the most powerful cytokines and C-reactor proteins that initiate the inflammatory response in our body. Ginger is also effective in indigestion and nausea. Recent studies show that ginger helps in GI tract inflammation and makes our gut healthier. Ginger tea is also recommended if you've got mild inflammation and pain in your body after strenuous workout or hectic daily routine. Consuming a cup of ginger tea before going to bed will make you feel fresher and energetic next day. To make ginger tea, boil freshly peeled ginger pieces with lemon and add some honey after cooling it. This is just to keep the taste of honey. Maple syrup can also be added in this tea to make it tastier. However, make sure you're using original maple syrup that is not too high in sugar. Number 2. Turmeric Tea Turmeric tea is number one option when it comes to mild inflammation that causes pain after injuries or some mild infection like fever and cough. In fact, turmeric powder has been used in countries like India since centuries to speed up wound healing. It is still used as an ointment in these countries. A research published in Medical Journal of Food has claimed that turmeric can be as effective as pain medication in treating joint pain and arthritis. Turmeric contains powerful anti-inflammatory compounds called curcumins which is also available separately as capsules and is used to treat many medical conditions involving inflammation. However, curcumins need black pepper for their absorption. So you should use black pepper and turmeric powder in combination. To make turmeric tea, boil the turmeric with black pepper alone for 5 to 10 minutes so that its smell goes off. 
After cooling, strain the yellowish water and add lemon and honey to make it tastier. You can drink plenty of turmeric tea as we need 5000 mg of curcumin every day to get these anti-inflammatory results. Number 3. Green Tea Green tea is another popular tea against inflammation and obesity, both of which are interlinked. Researchers show that green tea contains ketogens that reduce inflammation and joint pain. It is also good for heart health. With heart being one of the most targeted organs of our body that gets harmed by inflammation, so if you are obese and also have high cholesterol levels, drinking green tea would do wonders to your health. Preparing green tea is easy but don't boil it for too long to get the darker green color as most of the people do. This will make your green tea bitter and you won't be able to consume it. Boil green tea for 3 to 4 minutes until it has a light greenish color. Number 4. Fenugreek Seeds Fenugreek seed tea has been used since centuries for its incredible properties in curing digestive tract problems like constipation, ulcers, and loss of appetite. Fenugreek seeds contain alkaloids in them that are capable of blocking sensory receptors that cause sensation of pain due to inflammation. During a study done in 2014 that involved 51 women, who had painful periods were given capsules of fenugreek seeds for two consecutive months. Women who used these capsules had lesser duration of pain and lesser inflammatory signs during their periods. Fenugreek seed tea instantly soothes throat by maintaining the mucus in lungs and is very effective in easing congestion. Fenugreek seed tea is also effective in treating lymphatic blockage. Lymphatic blockage can cause many problems like water weight and poor blood circulation and ultimately it causes swelling and even inflammation. Fenugreek seeds boost sweating and urination in such cases and cleanse our body of trapped toxins and waste. You can use fresh fenugreek sprouts as well as lymphatic cleanser. However, don't use fenugreek seed tea if you're on medication, going to have surgery, or going to have some dental work. This is because fenugreek seeds can affect clotting ability of blood and increase the risk of bleeding. Now coming to the preparation of fenugreek seed tea. Take 1 tablespoon of fenugreek seeds and crush them a little to let the nutrients come out of seed. Now take 2 cups of water and boil the seeds for 20 minutes. Keep the flame low and add some honey after boiling it. Number 5. Rose Petal Tea Rose Petal Tea has been a part of Chinese traditional medicine. Interestingly, rose petal tea is caffeine free and has more antioxidants than green tea. Rose petals are calorie free, rich in vitamin C and vitamin E and have significant amount of iron. Anti-inflammatory properties of rose petal powder are compared with anti-inflammatory medicines like ibuprofen. By promoting bile production of liver, it also helps in digestion in people with hindered bile production. Rose petal tea has been used traditionally in India and China to relieve pain from arthritis and menstrual cramps. However, rose petals can cause mild allergies in some people with specific health conditions. Also, rose tea may not be good for people who are taking antidepressants and blood thinning medicines like aspirin. Best part about rose tea is its sensory properties and its sweet aroma that improves mood and relaxes mind. You can boil handful of rose petals in water at medium flame for 5 minutes to make the rose tea. Boil them until they get discolored and water turns pink. Strain the water and add honey in it. You can have rose tea during menstrual cramps and body pain. It's going to work as fast as medicine. Number 6. Cinnamon Tea Cinnamon tea is very strong and has powerful antioxidants. Antioxidants are good for our body and protect us from cell damage by free radicals. However, an excess of antioxidants can cause cancer as they can stop our body 
from eating disease cells too. So when using cinnamon tea, don't exceed its dosage as it acts like medicine and only a pinch of cinnamon powder is enough to make tea. Now coming to its benefits. So far teas that we've discussed are for mild inflammation, light flu, menstrual cramps and GI tract inflammation. But cinnamon tea also helps in chronic inflammation like diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and inflammation caused by obesity. But cinnamon tea also helps in chronic inflammation like diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and inflammation caused by obesity. Anti-inflammatory activity of cinnamon is attributed to the presence of high amounts of polyphenols that reduce inflammation by scavenging free radicals and inhibiting the formation of prostaglandins. Anti-inflammatory activity of cinnamon is being compared with NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Since NSAIDs may cause severe gastrointestinal discomfort, scientists are considering the compounds found in cinnamon as an alternative for NSAIDs as a safer option. You should use cinnamon tea if you are diabetic, have high blood cholesterol and obesity. All these conditions can be treated by using cinnamon tea regularly. Cinnamon tea can be prepared by boiling one cinnamon stick in water for 10 minutes. You don't need to strain the water, just add a little honey for a sweeter taste. Number 7. Hibiscus Tea Hibiscus tea is liked for its strong pink color and sensory properties. Its pink color comes from a polyphenol called as anthocyanin. These polyphenols are associated with lowering high blood pressure in both men and women. In several studies done on blood pressure lowering effect of hibiscus tea, it was suggested that taking 3 cups of hibiscus tea every day for a period of 2 weeks or longer had significantly lowered the blood pressure. It has also been used in many African countries since long to treat common fever, cold and sore throat. Although hibiscus tea has now been reported to decrease bad cholesterol, it does increase good cholesterol which is hard to maintain in older people people. So, consuming hibiscus tea regularly reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases. You can get ready to drink hibiscus tea from market, which can be served hot or iced. Number 8. Olive Leaf Tea Olive leaf tea might be rare, but it has tons of benefits just like olive oil or olive fruit. Olive leaf extract are even available as weight loss supplements and for its other benefits. Scientific studies show that oleuropurin found in olive leaf can reduce the size of fat storing cells and thereby reducing the fat mass in the body without affecting the protein mass. Another compound called hydroxotyrosol found in olive leaf extract was responsible for reducing the risk of heart disease by scavenging free radicals involved in oxidation of low-density lipids. Oxidation of LDL or low-density lipids releases cholesterol in blood, causing blockage of arteries over time. Olive leaf tea is not less than a medicine in hypertensive and diabetic patients. It also reduces liver enzymes called ALT and AST, which when found in blood indicate compromised liver function. To make olive leaf tea, you need 5 to 10 leaves of fresh olive or a tablespoon of dried olive leaves. Boil them for 2 to 3 minutes in hot water and add honey as a sweetener. You can drink as much as 2 glass of olive leaf tea as a preventive and curative measure against chronic inflammatory diseases like atherosclerosis, arthritis and type 2 diabetes. Anti-inflammatory teas can be a good alternative for painkillers and NSAIDs. If you often feel tired with body pains, these teas can help you. But most of all, a good sleep helps inflammation more than anything else. This is because our immune system is active during night and body cells are repaired during night when we are sleeping. Also, avoiding anti-inflammatory foods is super important to see the results of these anti-inflammatory teas. I hope you've learned much from today's episode. Let us know in the comment section if you want us to do our next videos on any of your favorite topics. 
Ring the bell icon to see our latest uploads first.